Now uh, I'm going to call our uh, last speaker, and I will do a correction. Uh, his name is Son Juan Kim, and he is deputy director from the MIST, Ministry of Science and ICT. So please welcome him. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Song Hwan Kim, working at Ministry of Science and ICT in Korea. It is my great honor to introduce our 5G policy in this beautiful city. My presentation will cover two topics. First will be about the status of 5G commercialization. Second, I will go over on our 5G commercialization tasks. <coughs> Korea is the world's first country preparing for the commercializing 5G services by March next year. This slide outlines Korean 5G commercialization overall process. Especially, I would like to put an emphasis on three events in this process. First, in February 2019, large-scale 5G services was successfully demonstrated at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. Then, in June 2018, uh, we held the Spectrum auction for establishing the 5G network. Last, we already made a amendment for certification and license system for the 5G devices. Let me start with the 5G services demonstrated at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. Korea had up prepared for the Olympic Games, which was centered on ICT technologies, and one of them was 5G. Pyeongchang, uh, 5G showcase in Pyeongchang could be in divi divided into two aspects. One is services, another is network part. In the aspect of service, the key feature is immersive media services using 5G 5G technologies applied to the actual Olympic Games. From the network perspective, we had established large-scale test beds in various places, including the Olympic venue and in Seoul. In this test bed, we, have, we had verified that the 5G tablet is operated in reliably performing speed of 3.5 gigabps by using the 28 gigahertz frequency band. The following is the policy for co-deployment and co-utilization of required facilities. As you know, 5G provides large, scale, large capacity and higher frequencies, so we need more dense network and a lot of more backhaul networks. We also need to upgrade our facilities such as telephone poles, pipelines, which require massive investment. So uh, to reduce this kind of burden, we are planning to jointly build and use the essential facilities through the cooperation with operators. We auctioned 3.5 gigahertz and 28 gigahertz band simultaneously to support more frequencies to the operators. And we also had been trying to make a fair competition among the operators. This is the uh, 5G experience center in uh, Indonesia uh, this year. Uh, 
the ASEAN game is held in Indonesia. We made the 5G exhibition center in Indonesia by using the, using the Korean 5G technologies. Last but not least, I would explain our key implementation projects for 5G commercialization. In Korea, the growth of the traditional telecommunication industry has been stagnant. We need to deliver a new value beyond the traditional services to the people and many experts that many experts prospect that the values lie in services that have combined 5G technologies to other industries such as transportation and manufacture and etc. Given this trend, our ministry is pursuing project for five key areas to identify and promote revenue models. These five key areas are the smart factory, autonomous vehicles, immersive media, uh, digital and safety control, and smart city. Our ministry will make a big in investment in the 5G convergence projects through these three years, starting this year to 2020. Through this kind of projects, we, our government will support the private sector in their seeking of a new profit in the early stage of 5G commercialization. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.